Hello, my name is Hannah. I am a trained Liebscher and Brack therapist, and today we'll discuss tangling fingers. We'll start with the first exercise. Find a wall or a door frame. It doesn't matter. Place your right arm over 90 degrees against the wall. Angle your elbow. Take your inner leg forward and turn your whole upper body into the room. The stomach stays very firm and engaged so you don't go into a hollow back. And you should feel the stretch in the chest shoulder area on the right side. Where do tingling fingers come from? The more your chest is tense, the more constriction you have in the nerve plexus, which lies directly under your collarbone, which in turn powers your arm. And when you start stretching, you may feel this tingling sensation again very intensely, or it might be much stronger than usual because you are stretching this exact area. With this exercise, you're expanding your chest and the nerve fibers that go under your collarbone and spread out in your arm. And how does a tight chest happen? By not moving much in everyday life and using little range of motion from our shoulder, the chest contracts and irritates the muscles and fascial tissue, the nerve fibers, causing tingling in the fingers. slowly release. Shake your hands out for a moment. They may be tingling a little bit now, but that's all right. That'll come back. That can also be more intensified the first time. And change sides. Raise your left arm. Bend the elbow. Bring the inner leg forward and the whole upper body to the inside. Don't tilt your pelvis back so you have a good stretch in the chest shoulder area again. The exercise is very important that we open our chest shoulder area again, simply to counter the movement of everyday life. Usually we sit a lot, perhaps in front of the PC or do another activity in which we do not use our range of movement to the full extent. If fingers become numb in the exercises, it is a tiny bit too much. Please turn your upper body back until it is in the tingling area. and pay attention to your pain threshold. Please don't go over your 10. 10 is when you start to resist mentally or physically because it hurts so much. If that's the case, come back a little bit and stay there with me for two minutes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Once the stretching subsides a little bit, turn further into the room. slowly release. Shake out your arms, stretch it out, maybe walk a few steps. And then we come to the next exercise. You can also do the next exercise at a table or like me on the floor. 
For this, you bring your hands like this. Fingers are closed and point to you. Then you move backward until you feel the stretch well in the forearm wrist area. Hold this for one minute. Again, just go to your limit that's clearly noticeable, but you can bear it. Okay, one minute done. Bend your arms and lift the heel of your hand off the floor so you've got an increased stretch toward the fingers. And we'll hold that for another minute as well. This is the last exercise. Be sure to hold into the end. Take a deep breath. Do these exercises once or twice a day for the next three to four weeks to get rid of that tingling in your fingers. and release very slowly. This might feel weird at first. Move your hands a little bit, move your fingers, circle your wrists, shake them out, whatever feels good to you right now. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, feel free to leave us a thumbs up. For more videos to expand your chest, click here. And to subscribe to our channel, click here. Glad you joined us today. We'll see you around. Bye.